We're going to have a great time today. So glad you're here. Allyship matters, representation matters, and LGBTQ lives, allies, families matter. So thank you for being here today on behalf of Fresno Rainbow Pride Parade and Festival 2022, Fresno's 32nd Annual Pride Parade. Shout out to Binks, who's been uh, our DJ today. It looks like our friends at C-Max. Is that C-Max over there? We love you, C-Max. Wow. We're going to be live streamed today. This parade is going to be live streamed today on C-Max. So if you know anyone that can't make it, find out where that link is, and it will be here. Uh, that's very exciting. This is a serious camera crew. I'll be back. I want to introduce you to the always delightful and pleasant, bigger than life, Leilani Price, everyone. Her beautiful skirt is uh, in, rem in remembrance of our, our, our dear friend, uh, Jeff Robinson. That's just beautiful. And I want to introduce you to Chris Jarvis, the new host who's taken over for Jeff Robinson on KFCF. It's a queer thing. Just say a few words, Chris. Chris, Chris Jarvis. Welcome everybody to Pride. It's so glad to be back in the streets with everybody. Um, I'm hosting It's a Queer Thing. It's the third Friday of every month. KFCF 88.1. Please tune in. I'm happy to take this show over for Jeff and keep, it go keep the tradition going. It's so good to see everybody today. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. And please welcome with me a supernatural lady, Leilani Price. Hi, Fresno! Oh, we could be louder than that. Let's wake up. Hi, Fresno. Are you guys ready for the parade? Me too. Well, we, we gotta, we're going to get started in just a few minutes, I promise. Make sure you guys are using our QR code. Take your photos using our those photo booth guy filters. It's amazing. And we will see you guys in just a few minutes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please clear the streets. The parade is about to start. If you can hear my voice, make some noise. Are you ready for the parade? Is Peter ready for the parade? Morning. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning, Peter. Good morning. Let's do this. Happy Pride 2022. 32 it, years. It's been a while, right? 32 years. Disclaimer, I may or may not be the comic relief tonight, so choices. <laughs> We're going to find out. <laughs> so have they started? Yes, the entries have started. The parade has gone underway. Ladies and gentlemen, if you can hear my voice again, clear the streets, clear the streets, clear the streets. We have our entries coming down. I'm excited, Peter. What are, you, what are you looking forward to the parade today? Gosh, that's a great question. I'm, I'm happy to see all the allies here. Allyship matters. Thank you, allies. Yes, we, we love the allies. You. We appreciate you. If you're an ally, know that we love you. Thank you, allies. I'm excited for the paleta man right there. Who doesn't love a big, cold thing in their mouth? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> What are you excited about, Leigh? Um, I'm excited that everyone's coming together. I'm excited that I get to see all these beautiful faces right here. This is great. Um, and I'm excited that I'm assuming most of us are vaccinated because I'm over COVID. I'm over it. So yeah, that's what I'm excited about. Good. Tell us about the festival after. 
The festival will start exactly at 12 o'clock at Fresno City College. If you're wanting to join us and you don't have transportation, we have a free shuttle, which is located right here behind the Dollar Tree. So right over there, jump on the shuttle. It's free, it'll be going throughout the duration. We have food vendors, we have informational booths, we have allies, we have businesses that support LGBTQ+. 130 booths. 130 booths, wow. Here comes, a, here comes our honor guard, Lay. If you're able to, please stand. We've got the uh, US flag, California flag, the Fresno flag, the rainbow pride flag, some other flags I can't see yet. The leather community flag, the, the trans flag. I don't see my flag up there though. I have to talk to my manager. What flag is that? <laughs> it's a big, big, I can't say it on the mic. All right. <laughs> Before they, before they get here, tell me about your skirt. Yes, my skirt it was designed by a uh, young gentleman by the name, I believe his name is Miguel, uh, with the Fools Collaborative. It is honoring uh, Jeff Robinson. So he had uh, gave me access to use the image, and I'm gonna cry already. <laughs> I know. Um, and I'm super excited to be wearing it, so yes. That's beautiful. Does one come in my size? Yes. All right. Miniature. All right, here is our color guard today. Kicking off, Fresno Rainbow Pride 2022, 32nd Annual Pride Parade. We will now be having our national anthem sang by a very good friend of mine. He's amazing. Please welcome, please help me welcome Adrian Amaso. Please remove your hats and stand if you can. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave. That would Adrian and Misso. Thank you. Again, our color guard is being presented today in organization from Renee Salas carrying the United States of America flag, the California flag, the Fresno flag, the rainbow flag. Hi, Reggie. Our leather flag. We have our bear flag and we have our trans flag. Hi, Zane. Thank you, gentlemen. We appreciate you. Oh, I hit a pause on the music. Come on, guys. Come on. Please welcome our sponsoring organization, Community Link. Community Link oversees Fresno Pride Parade for the last 32 years, and we appreciate all the support that you give to the parade, to the community, and to everyone here today.
Look at all these babies, Marchie. Make some noise for the babies, everyone. This is a Community Alliance youth group that was founded by Jeff Robinson and 30 years ago, 30 plus years ago. So thank you for coming out, Youth Alliance. Up next, we have the LGBTQ plus Fresno Unified School District. Make some noise. We love this. There you go. Thank you, Fresno Unified School District. First time, first time in Fresno's Pride Parade. We love you, we see you, we appreciate you. I see GSA, the GSA Club. This is wonderful. Thank you. Love is love, that's beautiful. I love a good unicorn. Yes. <laughs> so we have a little bit of a break, Peter. Peter, how are you feeling? I'm overwhelmed. I'm a little emotional. I got indigestion, if that makes you feel better. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> how about over here? How are you guys feeling over here? <laughs> Irene, can I get you guys to make some noise over here? <laughs> what about Mama Mia's and Lucy's? How you doing? My friends at Bobby's. Can you hear me at Bobby's? They had one too many margaritas over there at Bobby's. I love me a good margarita. What about Sequoia Brewing? Hi, Sequoia Brewing. What about my vibes, people? Hi, vibes. P.S. I have a brunch show every first Sunday of the month at Vibes, the only drag brunch in Tower. You're welcome. We brought it here. Thank you, Vibes. What about Detention? Hi, Detention. And of course, one of my favorite. Hi, my family. Hi, Fab Fresno. Our newest addition to the street. Hi, Splash Fresno. Peter, have you been to Splash? I have. It's lovely. I got wet. No comment. <laughs> I've got two quick announcements. One is next Friday at 12 o'clock, Fresno City Hall will be hoisting a progress pride flag at 12 o'clock noon. You're all invited. It's sponsored by Councilwoman District 1 Esmeralda Soria. We love her. And on Saturday, June 18th, Fresno Fuego Football Club is having Pride Night. Pride Night at Fresno Fuego Football Club. So save the date. Saturday, June 18th. Fuego. Got it. Fire. Fire. Caliente. So, Peter, we have, I believe there's over 100 entries over here as well for the parade. There's 80 entries for the parade. Is it 80? 80 plus, 80 plus, 130 booths at Fresno City College. But how many people are here today? A lot. A lot. I'm not good at math. Let's count off. One, <laughs> two, three. You don't want me to count. I go one, ah, ah, ah. Two, ah, ah. And that's just me because I'm trying to breathe, you know. <laughs> I got all this COVID weight going on. We have some more entries coming, so bear with us, ladies and gentlemen, as they're coming. Peter, if you don't turn your mic off. Hi, Bianca Binks. How you feeling, baby? Make some noise for DJ Binks, everyone. Splash Fresno. All right, this, our first Grand Marshal is in memory of Jeffrey Robinson. He was one of the 12 founding members of the first Pride Parade in 1991. He was Emperor 26 of Imperial Dove Court de Fresno. He was one of 70 plus organizers in 2009 for Meet in the Middle. He was selected the keynote speaker for Rainbow Graduation of Fresno State in 2015. He has been a keynote speaker at several events, speakers at rallies. He spoke at Expression Not Suppression for several years. He is being honored with a Lifetime Achievement Award. When he was honored, he said that finding the LGBT community that saved him is why he dedicated so much of his time. He passed away on March 9th. We have lost a leader, a great advocate, a strong voice, a mentor, and so much more. Today, we honor him and so many others that gave of themselves for this community. Please honor by celebrating today 
Jeffrey Robinson. I'll just say this, Jeffrey was not only my friend, but my role model and the reason why we are here today. He was a huge advocate for our community and he will forever be missed. So thank you, Jeff. Jeff will be honored next Friday. The flag raising of the Progress Pride flag at Fresno City Hall at 12 o'clock noon is in honor and in memory of Jeffrey Robinson. Please welcome City Councilman Tyler Maxwell, the Honorable Tyler Maxwell. Is that Nelson? And the Honorable Nelson Esparza, they've been very, very uh, pivotal in supporting the flag raisings at Fresno City Hall. They're here as allies. They're marching this parade for our community, for our allies. Please give a shout out to two members of the Fresno City Council. Tyler Maxwell and Nelson Esparza. Make sure you go and vote. Vote, vote, vote. Hey, and don't vote for the cute guy <laughs> just because he's cute. <laughs> he's got my vote. Coming up next, we got Fresno City Council member Esmeralda Soria. <laughs> Esmeralda. Council member Esmeralda Soria probably represents District 1 of the Fresno City Council, which includes the historic Tower District, Fresno High Neighborhoods, neighborhoods near Lions Park and Quigley Park, and the neighborhoods of west of Highway 99. Council member Soria has been a vocal advocate and ally for the LGBTQ plus community here in, in the city of Fresno. She is committed to advoc advocating for all of her constituents and residents of Fresno. So please, everyone, live their most authentic life openly. Say Safely and with pride. That is Council Member Esmeralda Soria. Thank you, Esmeralda. I'm loving the drag queens. I've never seen one before in my life. Hi, sissy. Esmeralda is Hi, organizing sissy. the flag raising next Friday, Esmeralda. Thank you. Who would think that we'd have a rainbow pride flag at Fresno City Hall? That took 135 years. Thanks to the efforts, the love, and the allyship of the Honorable Esmeralda Soria. We love you. Driven by the always delightful and pleasant Karen Johnson. Thank you, Esmeralda. I love the Jeep, it's so gay. Okay. Yeah. Who do you, who do you know in the audience, Lay? Who do I know in the audience? Let me see. I see Alan, Alan Gilmore. I see. Uh, yes. Hi, Bear. baby. Don. Hi, baby. Yeah. Hi, boys over here. Hi, Charles. Quentin. Hi, baby. Edwin Graham. Peter. Uh, Peter Zanido, Zanido Zamora. Peter, listen. I don't know anyone. Everyone knows me. No comment. A true diva. <laughs> I love it. We got more drag queens coming. Make some noise for the drag queens. Today, I think I see the Honorable Miguel Arias, Fresno City Councilman. Thanks for being here today with his, uh, I think that's your son. Is that LB driving his BMW? Of course it is. Uh, yeah, I think the Rambo is. I think so. Wait, Round of applause for Miguel Arias. Happy Pride Month. City Councilman Miguel Arias. Here is an ally. He's been supporting the pride flag raisings of Fresno City Hall as well. District 3. Hi, Adela. Hi, Lucy. We also have the Honorable Kimberly Tapsat Munson, Trustee Area 1 for the Fresno County Board of Education. Thank you, Kimberly, for being here today. A wonderful ally for our community. Representation matters, allyship matters. We appreciate you. I like 
Please welcome Dr. Joaquin Arambula, representing the 31st District of the California State Assembly. His district includes his district includes the Tower District, Downtown Fresno, and rural communities in Fresno County. He is a champion for health care. He is a strong ally to the LGBT community, and it was great honor to serve and represent his constituents. Thank you, Dr. Joaquin Arambila. Dr. Joaquin Arambila, thank you. Up next, we got Fresno Unified School District. This is part two of them, I believe. I thought they already marched. There's two, there's two of them. This contingent is so big, they have two. This is part two of Fresno Unified School District. Thank you, educators. This is wonderful. Scandinavian GAC Club. Duncan Pride, class of 2023. Look at those rainbow glasses. Creating safe, supportive, and inclusive schools for all. Thank you, Fresno Unified School District. Can you make some, make some noise, everyone, again, for Fresno Unified School District? Look at all these babies! Look at all these babies! I love this. I love this. I wish I had this in school. All I got in school was detention. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Good to see you. Thanks for Up next, we got Kaiser Permanente. Give love, take pride. Hi, Kaiser. Kaiser Permanente. Give love, take pride. And then we got Zoyer. This is Zoyer? Where's her? Next? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Up next, we have another Grand Marshal, Zoyer Zachary Zindel. While his time with us was far too brief, it was nothing less than impactful. Zoyer Zachary Zindel is a name that will be synonymous, cross-referenced, and a called upon when we called upon when we look at the Central Valley's LGBTQ plus community. Zoyer's dedication, passion, and tireless efforts to improve the basic qualities of life, not just for the LGBTQ plus community, but also the community he called home are the most unparalleled. Zoyer is a stalwart activist, advocate, and a leader for several organizations and countless individuals. Many of us will remember him by his role of a longtime chairperson for Trans Emotion. Hi, Trans Emotion. And endeavored he helped to found and was committed still at his passing. Zoyer was an active member with the Fresno Rainbow Pride Committee, PFLAG, and the United Student Pride at Fresno State, just to name a few. Zoyer's working knowledge, experience, and insight to the real-time challenges faced by those in the Central Valley LGBTQ plus community led the frequent requests for him to join various task force to focus groups aimed at addressing these issues to both the private and public sector. While his work with the LGBTQ plus community was forefront in Zoyer's life, his work with education, tutoring, the homelessness, advocacy, and mental health awareness were just as notable. During his time at Fresno State, Zoria worked as a tutor and a longtime fixture of the Writing Center and would help him both professionally and personally, as well as his students. Zoria worked as a mental health clinician for the Fresno County and provided intersections for him and those to help in, the, in direst needs. While we, we here in the Central Valley still mourn Zoria's loss, we too are inspired by all that he was, motivated by his hard work and his true authentic self. Zoria will impact us all, both in his life and death is different. You need and special, just like Zoyer. That was Zoyer Zindel, one of our Grand Marshals. And a quick PS, the Fresno State uh, College of Health and Human Services have established a scholarship, an endowed scholarship in social work. 
for Zoyer. Please welcome our, our one of our champion sponsors today, ABC 30. Hi, ABC 30. First time media sponsor from a television station, owned and operated Walt Disney Company. We appreciate your you being here today and your sponsorship dollars. Let's let's do it again next year, Tom. <laughs> Tom, Thank you, ABC 30. Tom, if you're looking for a weather girl, I'm looking for a job, so let me know. <laughs> Make some noise again for ABC 30. Oh, it's a Mickey. I love a good Mickey. I also love me a reach around, but we're not going to talk about that. Who's this? Please welcome Lithia Subaru of Fresno, a proud sponsor of Pride for the past nine years. Located at Blackstone and San Jose Avenues here in Fresno. Subaru is proud to be a part of the LGBTQ community. It's definitely a place you want to be treated like family. Thank you, Lithia Subaru. Yes, Bobby Salazar. Bobby Salazar? All right, I got it. You can do that one. Thank you, Lithia Subaru. This is the party one right here. This is the party. Oh. Next up, we have Bobby Salazar's Bobby Salazar Sasa. It's hot, it's spicy. It's Bobby-licious. But why is it spicy? Always made great, great for dipping or cooking. Pick up your Bobby Seller salsa at your local grocery store. Come to Bobby Seller's Taqueria for some delicious Mexican food and margaritas. Thank you, Bobby Salazar's. Bobby-licious. Up next, we have entry number 11, the Fresno County Deb Behavioral Health Department marching. Where hope and healing unite. Hi, Fresno County Behavioral Department. How y'all doing? Fun fact, our uh, fallen hero, Jeffrey Robinson, actually was in this department. And as you can see, the impact that he had not only on them, but a lot of lives here today. So thank you for coming out and supporting. We appreciate you. Also, the elephant in the room, chlamydia and gonorrhea do not always show visible symptoms. So make sure you're getting checked regularly. A good time is not always a good time, if you know what I mean. Wrap it up, wrap it up. Up next, we got Wells Fargo. Hi, Wells Fargo! Wells Fargo is celebrating 30 years of participation in pride parades with the LGBTQ plus community. Employees at Wells Fargo have marched with the company since 1992. They are excited to be back together in person and celebrate LGBTQ visibility as a company and as part of the community. Thank you, Wells Fargo. Up next, we got PG&E Pride Network. Hi, PG&E. I didn't pay my bill, so don't cut me off just yet. Let me read your note. PG&E Pride Network Employee Resource Group is proud to be one of the first lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and ally employee resource groups in the nation. Our mission is to foster, share success by supporting lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and ally LGBTA employees and community members in achieving their full potential. We are, the, we are excited to be here in person, walking with our members in our community in Fresno for the day and the celebration and togetherness at Fresno Pride. Thank you, PG&E. Okay. 
I'll do Because you're Empress what? PG&E, powerful pride, power, progress, and equality. Thank you, PG&E. I see some flag twirlers, flag color guard. Fresno's pride color guard was formed to showcase how much support and talent there is in our performing arts and how Color Guard has always been an outlet for our gay youth throughout the years. This year, they are performing the Catwalk by Miss Mother Rue. Please welcome Fresno Pride Color Guard! You better do it. You better do it. Ta, 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 ah, pa. <laughs> Fresno Pride Color Guard. Yes! Come on, Toss! Wow. Come on, Toss! Kick, ball chain, one, two, twirl. Ah, see, I could do this, Peter. I could do this. Watch. Let me, let, let me go behind him right now. Ready? Let me see. Hold on. No. This is fabulous. I am fascinated. Look at this. Ah, see? I'm just going to do sound effects. <laughs> All right, who's next, Lay? Up next, we have the Imperial Dove Court de Fresno. Hi, IDC. The Imperial Dove Court de Fresno, one of the longest running nonprofit organizations here in the Central Valley. The IDC has been around for 49 years. They've given hundreds of thousands of dollars to other nonprofit organizations, including but not limited to Fresno Pride, Real Pride, P Flag, West Care, just to name a few through fundraising. This past weekend, they just had their 49th gala, coronation gala. The next car you're about to see are the newly elected monarchs of the Imperial Dove Court, their most mag imperial majesties, the taco-eating, Oreo-loving, purple and golden heart, the silver bear, 49th elected emperor, Christopher Chu, and the 49th elected empress, the spicy Latina, bumblebee, hot Cheeto, loving and uh, loving express, Venus De Carlo. Hi, Venus. Hi, baby. Hi, IDC. Make sure you visit them at the IDC booth at the after the parade for more information about the IDC. From the heart, through the court, for the community, the Imperials of Court de Fresno. Celebrating 50 years next year, Fresno's oldest LGBTQ group. Are you? Fun fact, I was Empress 42, and that year I raised over $26,000 to give back to local nonprofits. So, y'all, good luck. Good luck. <laughs> All right, up next, we got Peter. That's you. Please welcome Fresno EOC LGBTQ Plus Center. Located in downtown Fresno, the Riso Center is a hub for all queer folks and allies to get connected with resources as well or participating in fun, family-friendly events such as Art Hop and the annual Eliminate Our Pride Street Festival happening Saturday, June 25th. Save the date, Saturday, June 25th. Eliminate Our Pride Street Festival. You know, Peter, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be one of the MCs there as well. Of course you are. <laughs> because why? Good morning. That's, That's why. That's right. Hi, EOC. Hi, Savan. And the Fresno EOC Commission, transforming and inspiring FresnoEOC.org. 
Hello, Crow. Hi, Jess. The source, the source. All the way from Visalia, California, please welcome the source, LGBTQ Center. You don't have to be out to come in. Hi, Brian. Thank you, Brian. Huge supporters in the South Valley area. Uh, very good friends of mine. Some queens that you may know. Priscilla McNamara, Transformer, BB Waters. Some of the work that they do there is amazing. They offer so many services. Um, limited to but not uh, HIV testing, insurance information, uh, education, therapy, you name it, they do it all. That is the LGBTQ, the source in Visalia. George is doing some rainbow flag raising I haven't seen since the 80s when I was a little boy in Vancouver and in Seattle. You look great. I love this, George. This just be big in the 80s. He's bringing it back. Thank you, George. Coming up next, we have T-Mobile Kingsburg. You said we have to T-Mobile Kingsburg Customer Service Experience Center. They are hiring over a thousand employees right now for their state-of-the-art center located in the Roding Kingsburg with starting pay at $20 an hour. There has never been a better time to join the Uncarrier. Hi, T-Mobile. If I shout you out one more time, can I get 10% off my bill? T-Mobile, make some noise with T-Mobile. My phone number is 559-27. You better cut me a check. Cut me a check, T-Mobile. Thank you, baby. Please welcome Realty Concepts team. Real estate for everyone. Shout outs to Carrie Casper. Carrie Casper's favorite pride moment was at 2013's New York International Pride. Thank you, Stonewall. Fred no bar so news. Am I am I reading ahead? Shh, crap. <laughs> it's okay, Peter. I'll take it from here. So well, Democrats with Joel Hurtado. Hi, Joel. Is she here? Wow, wow, we're all messed up. We're sorry. This is Fresno Barrios Unidos. See what it's like? It's all right. We got it. We got them. We, we'll figure it out. Hey, a little hiccup here and there never hurt nobody. You read right there. <laughs> I want to hit rewind and say that the Realty Concept team is laid by Larry Casper, L uh, Carrie Casper. If Carrie's was cast on The Real Housewives of Fresno, her tagline would be, real estate is for everyone, except for the tower. That belongs to us. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie. Travis. Up next, we have LGBT Fresno. LGBT Community Network is an organization for the community by the community. Since 2000, we worked to enhance the well-being of lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender communities by providing activities, programs, and services. As an all-volunteer force throughout the Central Valley, our strength is a direct reflection of willingness of individuals like you to get involved. We are joined today by the folks of the LGBT Fresno, LGBT Visalia, LGBT Portoville, LGBT Reedley, and LGBT T. Hanford. You can also find us in Kingsburg. Come meet us at the festival. Hi, Jason. How you doing, baby? That is LGBT Fresno. Hi. Every time I tried to tag you, I can't yeah, tag LGBT Fresno. So I have, to do, I have to do hashtags. I can't do the at. So I want you to know I'm not ignoring you, but I can't do it. Let's try and get oh, I didn't know. Cha-cha-cha. I'm going to check it with you guys over here. How are we doing over here? Make some noise. We love this. What about over here on this side? How are you doing over here? 
Let's go over here by Lucy's and Bobby's. How you guys feeling over there? They're told you. I told you they had one too many margaritas at Bobby's. It'll get you. It'll get you. Please welcome Stonewall Democrats, Fresno Stonewall Democrats, with Jewel Hurtado from Kingsburg, California, lavender skirt, openly out loud and proud. Please give a shout out to our wonderful community member, Jewel Hurtado. We see you, we love you, we appreciate you. Out loud and proud, serving the people of Kingsburg, California. Get used to it. I like your I like your I like your shorts. And following right behind Jewel is the Fresno County Democratic Women's Club. Also the Tulare County Stonewall Democrats. Yes, the historic Fresno County Democrat Women Club founded in 1932, the oldest Democratic club in America, salutes the Fresno Rainbow Pride Parade organizers serving our, our diverse Fresno community. We recognize that diversity is our strength and we are proud to have been participants since 2009. Hi, Hello. Gail. Senator, Senator Padilla's, Padilla's office. office. And Gail Gaston, thank you, Gail. Stonewall Democrats was established in 2001 by Jay Hubble, Ray Ensher, and Barbara, Barbara Pyle. I remember. That's Stonewall, that was Stonewall Democrats. I think. Yeah, in Fresno County, that should be after. Okay, you have the code in. There. Oh, Connor. Yeah. Okay. That's you. That's Me? you right now. All right. Please welcome Marsha Connett, president of the Fresno Stonewall Democrats, and 2017 Grand Marshal with her life partner and spouse, Marilyn Watts, daughters Kaylin and Sarah, and Marilyn's family from Ogden, Utah, and Austin, Texas are here today. Welcome Don Watts, Vanessa and Derek Waterston, and sons Forrest and Hudson and Carol Watts. We all dream of a world where grandnephews Forrest and Hudson and all children can follow their dreams without oppression. Love always wins. Thank you, Marsha. Thank you, Marilyn. Hi, Marsha. Love you, baby. Up next now, we have the Fresno County Democratic Women's Club. The historic Fresno County Department, I'm uh, sorry, the, Fre the historic Fresno County Democratic Women's Club founded in 1932, the oldest Democratic club in California salutes the Fresno Rainbow Pride Parade organizers serving our diverse Fresno community, recognize that, fre that diversity is our strength and are proud to be parade participants since 2009. Again, that was the Fresno County Department, sorry, Fresno County Democratic Women's Club. And Pat Barr. Pat Barr, Fresno County. Board member of Fresno Unified School Board back in the day. Good to, back to see you. Nice to see you, Pat. Please welcome Phil Arbolo for Congress. Ally marching today's Pride Parade. We appreciate you, Phil. Thank you for being here. Phil Arbolo for Congress. Well, we've got the Fresno City College Rams here. California's first community college, established in 1910. Fresno City College provides access to equity-centered, quality, innovative educational programs and support services. The principles and values of our Fresno City College Code of Ethics and Excellence guides the faculty, students, and staff in the achievement of profound appreciation and the respect for the dignity and worth of every member of our community. We are proud to host this year's Fresno Pride Festival, and today we march as faculty, staff, administration, allies, and friends. Hi, Larry Lucio. The Allied Faculty Group and the PP Generation Action Support Group, FCC. The Staff and Fact Association supporting LGBTQ staff, faculty, and students across the campus. Thanks for being with us today. Go Rams! Go Rams! 
Up next, I make these people so much money. Make some noise for Amazon. I believe this is the local chapter of Amazon. Marching today. This is the Fresno Facility One Glamazon. They dressed it up nicely. Hi, Amazon. Lose my package again. We're fighting, all right? I need my stuff. Glamazon, Glamazon FAT1, Fresno, California. Coming up next, we have another honorarium grand marshal, the fallen and beautiful Miss Tony Harrison, accompanied by West Care of Fresno. Huh? He's got Okay, awesome. <laughs> Tony Harrison served at West Care countless hours and efforts to the LGBTQ community. Huge advocate. Uh, I personally knew uh, Tony when we uh, partnered together for the Fresno AIDS Walk. Uh, that's held in October, the second week of October. Make some noise for your Grand Marshal, in memory, Tony Harrison. November 5th. November 5th. Thank you. November 5th is Fresno's AIDS Walk. Again, following them right behind Tony is West Care, California, uplifting the human spirit. And again, the Fresno AIDS Walk, November 5th at Woodward Park. Woodward Park? Yes. Be sure to check out their website, sign up, participate. Let's help raise money for them, yeah? Let's give back to the community. Again, this is West Care of California. And under that umbrella is the Living Room, a project of West Care, California, located here in Fresno. Please reach out to them for additional services. Following right behind them is the Community United Church of Christ. We love the churches. An all-inclusive church. Are you turned off by the preachers and politicians who just talk about Jesus but don't seem to follow the ways of love, forgiveness, and compassion? Yes. Folks at Community United Church of Christ feel the same way. We are not perfect, we don't pretend to be, but together we are committed to honoring every person's story and journey. We want you to love as God does, with an open heart and open arms. That is the Community United Church of Christ. Coming up right now is one of my favorite marching groups ever in the whole entire world. Two years ago, we stopped the, oh, I almost cussed. We stopped the parade because we had the biggest hug ever here. It is free mom hugs. You coming for me? You coming for me? Let's do it. Oh, I love you, girl. Big, big hug. Free Mom Hugs was founded in 2014, and since that time, many parents and allies across the country have joined the movement to show the acceptance, love, and support for the LGBTQIA community. Free Mom Hugs through education, visibility. Hi, Mom. Visibility and conversation is an advocate for all human rights for all. We believe we can help change the world one hug at a time. That is free mom hugs. Make sure you get your free hugs in. Who doesn't love a hug? Are you coming for me? Am I going to lift you up? No. I don't think so. <laughs> I'll go in for the squeeze. We're going for the squeeze. Happy. 
Free hugs, free hugs. Thank you, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, mamas. Coming up next, I see one of my favorite people. Hi, Drew. It is PFLAG. PFLAG is the national organization that began 50 years ago in 1972 when Janine Manford marched in the Christopher Street, Street Liberation Parade with her gay son, Morty. Jean, 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 Janine, Jean? Oh, I've been saying it wrong. Jean carried a sign reading, parents of gays unite in support of children. Other marchers were so moved they came t to her and hugged her and request that she speak to their own parents and P-Flag was born. Our local chapter P-Flag Fresno has been active since 1991. We are parents, family, friends, and allies united with LGBTQ plus people to support and advocate for our community and to educate a wider public. We welcome all to our monthly meetings. We need you to help help carry us doing the work to make Fresno a better place for our community. That is P-Flag, everyone. Hi, Drew. Thank you, P-Flag. Hi, baby. You are beautiful. Thank you, thank you. I love P-Flag, by the way. Coming up next. Who is it? Tranet. Tranet. You want to do that one? You can do this. How do I say it? Jenny. Okay, here's another one. Oh, yeah, that's All right, 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 right. I'll do that one. Can you do the more show? All right, go ahead. Trenet, we are on a mission to impact one billion lives for good, and that requires a big picture approach. From providing products that promote health and creating opportunities to earn and grow wealth, to giving back in our communities and around the world. We hope to make the lives of those around us better, and we try doing by having some fun. Another one of my fan favorites, it is a Fool's Collaborative! Oh, sorry, Save the Tower! Save the Tower! Dallas Blanchard have been protesting out in front of the Tower Theater for more than a year, every Sunday. We see you, we appreciate you. Two-Spirit, Native Pride, born this way, keep Tower weird. Save the Tower, thank you for being here. And keep Tower weird! Body bar. Where's the body bar? I don't see it. It's just here. It's just here. Up next, we got one new amazing business that has came to Fresno. It is a her body bar. Hot tea. Her body bar offering so many services from lip injections, body sculpting, um, suctions, tea. Y'all, tea, can you stop for two seconds? Great. Hi, tea. How you doing? I love you. Make sure you check them out. They're going to be at the festival as well. Ask them about their goods and services. Tell them Leilani sent you for 10% off. Use promo code Leilani Price for 10% off body sculpting. Body sculpting, though. We got to get them bodies right for the summer, baby. We got to get them right. That was her body bar. Welcome, United Wesley United Methodist Church. On behalf of Pastor Robin and the Wesley United Methodist Church of Fresno, we welcome you to the 2022 Fresno Rainbow Pride Parade. Today, we publicly declare that all, all persons and individuals are of sacred worth, ethnicity, gender identity, sexual orientation, including lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, questioning, marital or family status, physical or mental ability, age, background, or religious tradition. You are accepted as a full participant in the life and work of this reconciling United Methodist congregation. You are God's beloved and you are welcome here. Thank you, Wesley United Methodist Church. Yes. 
Up next, we have the Fresno Spectrum Center. Located the lead. Oh. Hi, babies. Oh, he said it already. The Fresno Spectrum Center with Rocio Leon Velasco Stroll. The Fresno Spectrum Center and Central Valley representatives of the state of California transgender ad advisory panelists, Ms. Trans Fresno 2021. And following right behind her is the Resource and Community Center for the Fresno Spectrum Hi, Center. Rocio. Many activities, Hi, event, many activities, events, and charity projects for all the LGBTQ community. They also help connect people with local LGBTQ plus and ally resources. Make some noise for the Fresno Spectrum. Hi, Randy. Please welcome Central California Puppy and Handler is a group of like-minded individuals who seek knowledge and education of puppies and their communities. We are a group of puppies that like to have fun romping around and letting the animals side out. We disseminate information about the puppy community in and around Central Valley. Join us at our puppy experience booth at the festival. Central California Puppy and Handler. Let me do that. Oh, let me do that one. Let me do that. Okay. In the past 10 years, the National Latino Peace Officers Association has awarded scholarships to high school seniors in the amount of $1,000 each due to an annual golf tournament scheduled in May. The National Latino Peace Officers Association have also provided donations to youth softball teams, soccer teams, back to school supplies, truck or treats, coats for kids, and a variety of rural schools and school backpacks to the same rural schools. Thank you for being here, National Latino Peace Officers Association, Fresno County Chapter. Thank you. Peter, do you speak Spanish? Sabla Espanol or no, Peter? Just leave, leave me out of this. <laughs> he said, leave me out of this. Up next is Planned Parenthood. Stand with the Planned Parenthood. Stand for equality. Stand with Planned Parenthood. Thank you, Planned Parenthood. I don't know who those are. Thank you, Planned Parenthood. Riverland Farms and Sanger, tastycows.com, grass-fed beef. beef. Where is the beef? Which, I got she it, I got it. Show up. Is, wait, is that her? Coming up next is the Fresno County DSS Soji Task Force. <laughs> and tell me what Soji is. Sexual orientation, gender, identity, and expression. Thank you, Soji. Fresno County DSS Soji Task Force. Up next, we got Paulina Miranda for State Senator District 14. And barking up my tree is the Fresno fur Furries. <laughs> Woof. I'm more of a kitty girl, if you know what I mean. Make some noise for the Fresno Furries. Another one of my favorite local businesses owned by one of my favorite Latinas in Fresno, Ms. Jackie. Hi, baby! 
Color me chula. Color, Color me, me chula. chula. Listen. Oh, are we gonna hit the switches? Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Ah, ah. Make sure you go say check Jackie and Monica out. Color me chula down the street here on Olive. Hit it one more time for me. Can you do it one more time? Ooh, that's nice. That takes me back to my younger days when I used to be on the hood of the car like this. <laughs> And next, we have the Fresno Visalia Area's Lesbian Marching Group. Thank Hi, you, ladies. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And following them right behind him is the Fresno Women's International League of Peace and Freedom. It is the wisdom of our founding foremothers in 1915 that peace is not rooted only in treaties between great powers or turning away of weapons alone, but can only flourish when it is planted in the soils of justice, freedom, nonviolence, opportunity, and equal equality for all. They understand and in the understanding that all problems that lead to lead countries to domestic and international violence are all connected and need to be solved in order to achieve sustainable peace. This remarkable vision still guides women International League for Peace and Freedom as we face today's challenges for peace and, peace and social justice in Fresno and our world. That is a mouthful. That was the Fresno Women's International League of Peace and Freedom. Thank you. Up next, we have the American Red Cross. Hi, Red Cross. Thank you, American Red Cross. We see you. We appreciate you. Thank you for all that you do. Barry Falk is here today. I saw Barry Falk here. We appreciate you, Barry. 2021 Top Dog Alumnus Award winner on behalf of the College of Arts and Humanities. Marjorie Mason Center, please welcome. We know that everyone deserves a healthy relationship. Contrary to popular belief, we are not a women's shelter. We are a domestic violence agency that helps adults and children heal from trauma or domestic violence regardless of their gender or sexual orientation. <laughs> LGBTQIA plus adults and children have a right to safety in this community and we are available 24 seven to provide safe housing, counseling, crisis support and legal advocacy for those experiencing intimate partner violence. Thank you Marjorie Mason Center. And I believe they're always accepting donations so if you can please donate, donate, donate. Please welcome to Dolores Huerta Foundation, the Liberated Youth for Empowerment program produced by Dolores Huerta Foundation as marching today to show their love and support for the LGBT community. They would like to bring a spotlight and give love to all youth in the community and remind folks to get out and vote for the future of those youth. Thank you, Dolores Huerta Foundation. Si se puede. Si se puede. Si se puede, Dolores Huerta. Up next, we got Mike Briggs for City Council. Riding with Mike is Athena, the Greek goddess of gossip. See Athena weeknights on the 8 o'clock news on Channel 53 and on Mike and Athena live on Central Valley Talk. That is Mike Briggs for City Council. Are they coming? I just pulled. Again, Mike Briggs for City Council. All the spires. Did you do it already? No. And following Mike Briggs, we have Clockwork Spires. Clockworks Fire is a medieval fighting and role-playing club. Oh, I love this one. Yes. Settle down. 
Be sure to check them out. Settle down. <laughs> Please welcome Fresno Real Pride Film Festival. Fresno Real Pride Film Festival was founded in 1990 at Fresno State, and today it's one of the sixth oldest film festivals in the United States. Congratulations and thank you, Fresno Real Pride. Next week they're showing There's a movie. There's Kathleen. Hi, Kathleen. Movie at, at Full Circle Brewery next Saturday night. Get your tickets. Peter, did you know I had a movie made about me? I did. I saw it screened at Real Pride. It was at Real Pride. It was. It was amazing. Thank you, Fresno Real Pride. <laughs> All right, keep going, keep going. It's Mike Rick. A little, a little hold up, a little hold up. Again, Fresno, how are you holding up with me today? Hi. It's warm, I know. Who's ready to go to the festival? Make some noise for Fresno City College. Yeah. Make sure you take the shuttle. There's a free shuttle departing every 15 minutes right behind the Dollar Tree store. Again, free shuttle that'll take you over there. And if you parked here, you can park at Fresno City College for free today and today only. Fresno Real Pride presents John Waters movie. Huh? Next Saturday, June 11th at the Full Circle Brewery. Hairspray, the 1988 John Waters film, Hairspray, at Full Circle Brewery next Saturday night. And following them, it is the California State Center Federation of Teachers. Thank you, baby. Hi, baby. Make some noise for our California Federation of Teachers. Thank you for all that you do for us teachers. We appreciate it. We really do. Do you want to go next? Do you have REI? REI. Please welcome Fresno REI at River Park. At REI, we believe that outdoors are for all to enjoy. Thank you, REI. Can we do uh, Carrie? Where's it? Where's it? Please welcome Carrie Catalano, Fresno City Council District 1 candidate. Carrie Catalano, driven by his husband of 23 years, Marvin Nakagawa. They live within a mile of here since they've met and help nonprofits and business to thrive at their public relations company for two decades. Carrie Catalano thanks you for your friendliness and your great ideas to make our city all it can be. Make it possible by voting for Carrie on or before June 7th. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Marvin. Kerry Catalano, Friendly City Council, District 1. Proven results. Not in the parade, but he is still in the show. Make some noise for this guy doing some shit. <laughs> Up next, we have Queen P. Hi, Queen P. Queen P is known as the invested by the IDC, the 40th wing, Queen P, Queen Mother of Roding Park, loving and serving community since 1991. I am also a proud Biola sister, elected Miss Biola number six in 2015. My duty is to bring all faucets of the gay community together and celebrate love and life. Make some noise for Queen P, Miss Roding Park herself. Hi, baby.
<laughs> Is it this one? Coming up next, we have our first Congressional Church of Fresno, the Big Red Church. Never a place, a period where God has a place, a comma. God is still speaking. The United Church of Christ. Thank you for being here today. We appreciate you. And immediately following them is St. James Episcopal Cathedral. Where all are welcomed, all are loved. Todos son venidos, bienvenidos, todos son amados. Listen to my Spanish. Okay, baby. Okay. Como se dice la bidi bidi bum bum. <laughs> Again, that is St. James Episcopal Cathedral. Coming up next, we have float number 64, New Thought Community of Fresno. We are all one. Change your thinking, change your life. Visit them at www.newthoughtcommunity.org. New Thought Community is an open and inclusive interfaith community. We are committed to creating a safe and sacred place for all people. In this community, we discover our path, purpose, spiritual nature, so that we can live cooperatively, <laughs> grow personally, and enrich the world as a spiritual community. We do this by teaching practical tools for living, grown from the universal principles. Life is good. There are only there's only one God common to all people, and love is the is the only power. New Thought Community is a diverse spiritual family guided by universal principles and devoted to awakening the divine presence within each of us. We are committed to a loving, inspiring, and healing. That is the New Thought Community of Fresno. Thank you, beautiful. We got, we got 10 churches today. Okay, this is part of an interfaith community. Thank you, thank you. 10 churches together, all together with one. See, that's what we're talking about. Coming up next, number 65, the Unitarian Unis... Wait, where's Peter? I'm in trouble now. Unitarian Universal Church of Fresno, all are welcome. Love inclusively, grow spiritually, serve gratefully, and work for justice. Thank you, Unitarian Universal Church of Fresno. Services are Sunday mornings at 10.30 a.m. All are welcome, and all means all. Shalom, Temple Beth, Israel. The home of Reformed Judaism in the Fresno region proudly welcomes our friends and family in the LGBTQ plus community. We encourage everyone to embrace and fully be who you are as we celebrate life's beautiful moments together. Temple Beth Israel celebrating pathways to Jewish living in the Central Valley. Thank you, Temple Beth Israel. Patience and Paul. <laughs> Up next, we got the University Presbyterian Church. And according to Jesus, everyone's in. I love being in. I love your signs, they're so cute. Thank you, thank you. Again, that was the University Presbyterian Church. Up next, we have number 68. Thank you. It is the Woven Community. Love always wins, queer and wonderful maid. Tell me, what, what can we see at the Woven community? Inclusion and pride. Inclusion and pride, we love that. Thank you, Woven community. Entry number 68. 69. Is this Wild Church of Fresno? 
God is beyond gender. We are all God's children. Thank you, Woven community. Thanks for being here today. Katsuyo Howard, my gosh, this is wonderful. Thank you to United Japanese Christian Church. Agape is a ministry of United Japanese Christian Church committed to extending God's welcome to all people, especially God's LGBTQ plus children. United Japanese Christian Church is a multicultural congregation where all are welcome. Thank you, Katsuyo. Konnichiwa. <laughs> Konnichiwa. I learned another language. What language is that, Peter? That would be Japanese. Japanese? Konnichiwa, Peter. Shoshoji. How do you say hot dog in Japanese? Shoshoji. Up next, we have Fresno Campo. Hi, Linda. Hi, TT. Hi, babies. I'm tired, but I'm here. Camp Butter is, uh, thank you. Camp Butter is, the, is an annual LGBTQ plus camping trip always held the weekend after Labor Day, which is my birthday. This year's theme is Mardi Gras. Just when you thought we were done with mass, $40 cash at the gate guarantees you two breakfasts, one dinner, two beer bus, a progressive cocktail party, games, prizes, and don't forget the Camp Stravaganza. Check out Camp Out Fresno. Dot com. That's Camp Out with a K for our Camp Out with a K Facebook page and more. Thank you, TT. Please welcome Peace Fresno. Thank you for being here, Peace Fresno. We appreciate it. Entry number 75, Fresno Madera Service Center Equality Equity Team. It is the California Teachers Association. We are the California Teachers Association Fresno Madera Service Center Equity Team. We welcome members of the LGBTQ plus community and their allies. We aim to create and provide a safe, supportive, and accepting place for LGBTQ plus students and allies. Our team promotes justice and equity for our goal is to and and our goal is to ensure all voices in the community are represented. That is California Teachers uh, Teachers Association. Please welcome Annalisa Perea, running to be your next Fresno City Council member in District 1. She serves on the Central California Community College District as an openly member of the LGBT community. Once elected, Annalisa will be the first open LGBTQ council member serving the city of Fresno in more than 135 years. Election day is Tuesday, June 7th. Remember to vote. Are you going to do Jim Costa? I can. I can. Where's it at? You can. Right here. No, you do it. You do it. You do it. You do it. You want me to do it? Yeah. Okay. You can do Jim Costa. I'll do Jim Do, um... Congressman Jim Costa is following right behind. Jim Costa represents California's 16th Congressional District. He has served as San Joaquin's Valley in the United States House of Representatives since January of 2005. Raised on a dairy farm in Fresno's Kearney Park area, Congressman Costa is a third generation family farmer. As a member of con Congress, Costa has applied his farming background to fighting, the valley, fighting for valley water, agriculture, and the economy. Yeah, that is Jim Costa. Alongside Congressman Costa is the trustee, James Martinez. Hi, James. <laughs> Representing Area 3 of the Fresno County Board of Education. Again, that was Jim Costa, your congressman. Hi, Jim. How you doing? Are we fist bump here? I love a good fist bump. Nice to be here. Thank you. Hi, Roxanne. I know this is Congressman. This is great. Thank you, Congressman. <laughs> Is this Susan? Almost done. Susan Kuhn, please welcome Grand Marshal in memory of. 
Susan Kuhn, mother, wife, grandmother, aunt, sister, cousin, daughter, volunteer, educator, activist, faithful Catholic, organizer, advocate, philanthropist, and furious friend. Born on the East Coast, Susan came to Fresno as a pre-team. She was a competitive swimmer at then Clovis United High School and among the inaugural members of the Newman Club at St. Paul's Newman Center, where she Peter. met and married Bill Kuhn. Peter, stop him. It is Fresno's Drag Festival. When can we see the Drag Festival? December. December. We're having a special event this year in December, so it's going to be Christmas themed. Fresno uh, Drag Festival. Yes, December, and that's going to be here at the. The Saviors Lutheran Church here in Fresno. Make Our sure you guys Savior. check them out. Our Saviors, yes. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yes, so was I. Who's 81? 81. I'm scared to death. Please welcome Walmart Fresno! Walmart Pride, Fresno, California. Employees, allies, and friends of Walmart, California supporting the LGBT community and the Fresno Pride Parade for many, many years. Thank you. Together? Honoring Grand Marshal Susan Kuhn in memory of in the early 80s when closed-minded people would not shake a gay person's hand for fear of catching HIV AIDS. Su Susan was at the forefront, one of the first volunteers of Central Valley AIDS team. She joined the local San Joaquin chapter of ACT UP. Until the 1990s, until her passing away last year, Susan volunteered and donated to the Imperial Dove Court de Fresno. Thank you, Susan Kuhn. And joining Susan is Grand Marshal Patricia Ann Colucci. Was born in Chicago, Illinois, to Reginald and Eileen. She had two twin brothers, Ronnie and Donnie. Patty was a life soulmate, spouse, mother, stepmother, grandmother, great grandmother, partner, teacher, photographer, former advocate, dragster, artist, and fierce friend. She has two sons, three daughters, four grandsons, two granddaughters, one great granddaughter, and an infinite number of cherished friends. She was a guardian of the dove, sterling leather, freedom, ring jester, April 25 of the Imperial Dove Court, Difference of Madeira, served as president of the court and the IDC Board of Directors. She served on the Community League Rainbow Pride Parade Festival and Committee as a parade co chair with Susan Kuhn. No one can remember when Patty and Susan started doing the parade, but they were involved with the parade since 1991, which is the first one. Patty was a generous with her friends and easy to talk to. She made everyone feel like tr they were truly wanted. Again, that was Patty Colucci. Is this the last one? Yeah. Oh. And ladies and gentlemen, bringing up the rear, it is flow number 82, our newest addition to the block, and one of our main sponsors donating over $10,000. It is Splash Fresno! Thank you, Splash Benzo. Thank you, Splash. Let's hear it. Splash Fresno! Open all days during the week. Be sure to check them out. Facebook, social media, Instagram, website. Hi, Taryn. Again, it is Splash Fresno. Be sure to join us at the festival starting immediately. You can catch the transit at behind the Dollar Tree store. It is running every 15 minutes on the hour. We look forward to seeing you there. It is a $5 donation. We will see everyone there. Thank you and happy Pride! <laughs> <laughs>